Ireland capable of uh, measuring up to black type. Her win two starts ago encouraged Andrew Gluis to have a go at that black type race, which was the Christmas yep. handicap. She was absolutely outstanding, beating another house by over four lengths here at Morpherville. She tends to go well here, and she really improved at her second race prep after her first prep. So they won't be far away from moving in. Favourite number nine, Ostmar, two dollars eighty with lab breaks. Number five, Grey River at four dollars eighty, and then six Celsius Star is on the third line of betting. Uh, anything late happening with that market, John? Uh, Osmar has been very well backed over the last day or two. She's going to stay a clear favourite. Celsius Star just continues to hold his spot around about that $5, $5.50 mark. Grey River is in the same boat. H2O has been easy. Larimer Street has held his price in the market, but Osmar's clearly been the best backed horse. Celsius Star's certainly been well supported. And the Adelaide Cup going the way of acceleration with Harry Coffey riding for Richard Cully. An incredible story. Purchased for $6,000 at the Magic Million sales here in Adelaide in 2018 and well, probably on the way to running in the Melbourne Cup maybe now. I know that's a big yeah. step up, but um, why not dream? Why not? He's been a fantastic horse and breeding buffs would again be shaking their heads trying to work out how that horse gets 3,200 metres. He's by a horse called Excelebration who was a European son of Exceed and Excel who right. didn't sire too many horses in Australia. He stood in Australia, I think, for a couple of seasons, didn't sire that many horses. Uh, Acceleration would certainly be one of the best ones of them and uh, so certainly one of the very few stayers that Excelebration has produced. This is the Thomas Farms Manor High Classic and this is Brett Davis. 100 metres, it's the Thomas Farms Manor High Classic. Gates are filling well. Moving in nicely for the running of the listed Manor High Classic. Favourite, $3 Osmar, Jamie Carr, $4.60 Grey River, $5 Celsius Star in from $6. H2O drifting six out to seven fifty as Grey River moves in. $12 for Walk Like an Angel. $17 for Sweetened. Larimer Street coming into the gates. He's a $10 chance and very solid at that quote. So Ripping Field in line here for the running of the Manor High Classic after a very eventful and remarkable finish to the Tab Adelaide Cup. Acceleration narrowly denying the map. Skelm and Quite incredible that a maid was able to run fourth. Now Storm Voyager comes into the gates. The light goes on and we're set for the Manor High Classic. Osmar, just a fractional favourite. Stand by gates open there off. Osmar jumped well. So did Grey River and H2O's powering up on the rail. Osmar with good speed from Grey River. H2O into third. Celsius star and then struck by. They're going really fast here. Walk like an angel's two lengths back with Larimer Street. Storm Voyager. Then towards the back of the field is Sweetened in company with Aston Rapova and Anne Jopin. Osmar with a wing on every hoof. Leads by three quarters to Grey River and H2O punching into third. Struck by Celsius star. Larimer Street. Walk like an angel. Sweetened. Is coming deep as they swing, followed by Larimer Street, Aston Rapova, Anjopin and Storm Voyager in the straight. Osmar, catch me if you can, puts up another length on Grey River, H2O. Then Celsius Star, walk like an angel in Larimer Street. Osmar, they've backed him as if he's a good thing, and this is why. Have a look at him open up. Osmar is going to destroy them in the Manor High Classic. Wins by four, Aston Rapova, Celsius Star, walk like an angel. H2O and Jopin, Sweet and Larimer Street, Grey River struck by. And the last one home is Storm Voyager. Well, she couldn't quite get the Adelaide Cup, Jamie Carr, but she's made it three on the day, including a couple of stakes wins. Osmar goes bang. Team get off and on the board, John, with a nice winner on Cup Day. That was ultra impressive. Uh, she carved across the field. To be able to lead H2O, you know you're going quickly, and they ran the race at strong tempo throughout. She gave a massive kick, this three-year-old filly, and she has absolutely bolted in. The uh, One of the other favourites there, we can see Grey River came across and sat outside her. She had no answer. H2O had no answer. It was left to a couple of horses that were basically back in the field. Aston Rapova, who was looking for a run halfway down the street, He's got out and finished best to run second. Celsius star, as he always done, has raced honestly. That was super, super impressive.